friends and welcome to today's video. So one of the questions that I get asked the most is what type of camera do you use, what kind of backpack do you have, which camera do you use for filming and today I'm going to show you my travel photography backpack and everything that's inside. So this is a Wander backpack designed from two guys from New Zealand and what I really love about this backpack is that it's a mix of a photography bag and a travel backpack because most photography bags, they don't really have space for personal items like clothes or snacks or anything like that and most travel backpacks don't really have a space for photography gear and this backpack is the mix of both so you can easily open the back of the backpack which is opening the sides so when you open up the backpack, this is the bag that you see and you can access all your equipment easily here so this space is basically for all your camera equipment and this is for other stuff like hard drives, headphones and anything else you need. So I have my drone over here, controller here, two extra batteries. This space is currently empty but I'm sure I'm gonna get more camera equipment so that's good. And this is the space where I usually put my Canon 80D which I'm using right now to film this video. And the reason why I put it here is that over here you can open the backpack and access the camera at any time. So this is where I put my laptop and I think it's super easy when you're at the airport you just open this up and take the laptop out and put it back inside. So this tripod has a lot of features and I think I'll have to make a whole video if I want to tell you everything about it. But what I really like is the handle on the side so I can easily put the camera up. And now, this is a Manfrotto B3 Lite, and like the name already says, it's super light, so it's very good for traveling, and it has everything you need for professional photography. So for my photos, I'm currently using the Canon 80D with a 18 to 55 millimeter lens, and it has a tiltable display which I really like and basically everything that you need. The drone that I'm currently using is the DJI Mavic Pro. This one looks a little damaged because I recently crashed it so it needs some fixing but apart from that it's a very reliable, very good drone to film travels and to take photos from above. The laptop that I'm currently using is a MacBook Air, it's super thin. So this is the camera that I'm currently using to film my travel vlogs. It's a Nikon A900 and what I really like about it is that it has this tilting display. So you can put the display up and then you can easily record yourself while you're filming vlogs and stuff like that. So I really like this camera until I got the GoPro 8 which I like even more. But that one just got stolen at the airport when I flew back from Mexico to Germany. So right now I'm thinking about which action cam I'm gonna buy next, but until I have it, I'm gonna use this one. I also have this little Rode microphone, but I'm not using it as much. I'm only using it if I film myself with the Canon LED if I do sit down videos like I did today. Apart from that, I'm traveling with this little tripod. This is the portable charger that I have. I got it at the market in Mexico City. So I'm not sure if I can recommend this one, but overall I would say that it's very good to have a portable charger in your backpack so you can charge your phone if you are on a long flight or something like that. Because I'm creating a lot of content, I am traveling with two 4 terabyte hard drives. One is from Seasonite and the other one is from Toshiba. And the last thing, my wireless Sony headphones. I really prefer that you can open the backpack on the back so nobody can just open it and take something out, it's pretty safe. Also on the back you have this little space where you can put passports, flight tickets, anything you need and it's also very safe because it's on the back of your backpack. You can actually unfold this and you can see that there's a lot of space for clothes and other stuff that you can just put on top and you can easily reach when you open it. On the one side you have this space that you can open here and you can easily fit a water bottle in or fix a tripod here and on the other side you'll find one of the most useful things about this backpack and that is here because you can just open it and access your camera from the inside 
take it out and you can do it while you have the backpack on your back. So if I'm walking around somewhere and I just want to take a quick photo, then I can just open this, take the camera out, take my photo, put it back in and close it up. Apart from that, this backpack has this little space here where you can put papers like flight tickets, copy tests, whatever you need. On this side, I almost forgot this, you have this little space where this comes out and you can just attach your keys to it. So you're definitely not gonna lose your keys if you put them in this little space here. Then you also have this little space here on top that I usually use to put my little case where I have my SD cards and just little stuff that I want to have easy access to. The backpack actually has a belt that you can put around and you can also take this off. So it's up to you if you're wearing this or not, but I find it super useful because if I wear the backpack with the belt, then the weight sits on my hips and not on my back and I don't get back pain when I carry all my camera equipment. And one more great thing about this backpack is on the bottom you will find a little zip and inside you will find this cover for your backpack. So if you're hiking somewhere tropical and a lot of rain comes down, so this backpack is already pretty waterproof, but you know, if it's a lot of rain, you can put this around your backpack and all your equipment will be safe. So apart from that, I really like the design of the backpack and it just sits very nice on my back. So I don't get back pain when I carry this backpack around and I use it all the time when I travel. So I've had quite a few different backpacks and I think this is the best one I've ever had. So I'm traveling with this one since March, since I started traveling as a digital nomad and all my camera equipment fits in it and also some other little stuff that I need. I always have it with me at the airport. Apart from that, I'm traveling with a suitcase and in those two things I can usually fit everything that I need for traveling. And like I said before, it's super nice to have this backpack because if I go on a weekend trip with friends and I don't want to take all my stuff, then I can easily fit some clothes and everything else I need on top and I have everything in one backpack. By the way, this is not a sponsored video by anyone. This is just my personal recommendation on what type of equipment and backpack I really like. So this is all the equipment that I'm currently using for photography, for filming my videos, for editing my videos and all of that. I hope you guys found this content informative. If you do, please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I hope to see you again on my next video. Bye guys.